The principal reason for the Cubist success story is that very many, very different people shared a common goal. What we wished to achieve was basically nothing less than to create the best lab balance in the world. We knew we would encounter problems that hadn't even existed before, but these problems were solved, and we're very proud of that, of course. With the operating concept, we wanted to make a real quantum leap. The touch screen was only a minor feature of what we needed to achieve. An inspired innovation was the operating guide, which makes working with the balance so much easier. Very early on, we realized that we could only create a truly modular design by developing a new, considerably smaller monolithic way cell. What is special about the monolithic way cell? It's not just the fact that we can manufacture it from a single block of high-grade aluminium. It is the consistently precise machining without the tiniest deviance which ensures the unique accuracy of the cubis. Our goal was more than ambitious, to provide additional features, better performance, a smaller footprint and modular design. To bring all this together was a real challenge and meant that we had to strike out in completely new directions in the design and development of components. The draft shield had us racking our brains because it had to meet customer requirements that, until then, had been mutually incompatible, namely high stability and excellent visibility. In addition, it should be easy to use and well protected against external influences. All of this we ultimately achieved through the use of new materials and surface treatment. Developing a digital off-center load compensation system represents a twofold achievement. On the one hand, a significant reduction in off-center loading error. On the other, the use of larger weighing pans. We know that operators want the leveling of a balance to be as simple as possible. So, with this in mind, we developed an automatic leveling system. From the very start, we were aware that many of the innovations we wanted to introduce could not be realized by creativity alone. Most were the product of painstaking hard work. Numerous test runs brought us closer, step by step, to the goals we had set ourselves, each time a little better, until at last we achieved the ideal result. Anyone involved in the development of a lab balance knows that the function of the equipment stands or falls with the electronics. So, right from day one, we decided to keep the development and manufacture of the electronics as a completely in-house operation.
From the first day of its launch, we wanted the Cubis to be fully accessible to the market via every mode of communication. We have placed a complete graphic of the modular design on the internet. This means that customers have unlimited freedom to configure their own Cubis at the click of a mouse and order it online. Viewed chronologically, every New Balance is naturally the successor to the previous model. But in fact, the Cubis represents a completely new generation of lab balances. So it was no surprise that the way forward was marked by unforeseen obstacles. The decisive factor was that we never lost confidence, and today, we know that with the Cubis, we have achieved something unique.